Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Blacklist channel. This morning, I got up early before work. I don't start till 11 today because it is a public holiday. I'm gonna do some prep on the sump, timing cover, rocket cover. I'm gonna do that this morning, get it all taped up, get it prepped. So then Sunday, I can get in there and hopefully paint it all, get it all finished. So they're done. I'm still waiting for the rebuild kit from Atomic at the moment. That is coming through Long Boost. Shout out to Long Boost, did me an awesome deal on that rebuild kit. It was a short week this week, so I understand why it's not here. He did say midweek. I am on a super tight time schedule with this build, uh, being September the 2nd is the tune date. If I do cancel that tune date, I probably won't get the car in for a tune until at least December, I would say. Going off what Clint has said, how busy he is at the moment at Profile Autosport, it's just gonna be hard to get back in for a tune. So I've gotta try and stick to that date, finish this, get everything in, get it all sorted. Hopefully there's no gremlins. It is super foggy this morning. Check this out, guys. It really feels like one of those early mornings at QR with this fog. So I've got sump, timing cover, rocket cover. I, I did get these pretty clean in the parts washer up at the workshop. I'm gonna have to get in there. I might try some purge. They make a pretty good product. It's awesome for wheel cleaning stuff. I might try a bit of that. So use some wax and grease remover as well. And just a little bit of a wire brush. So like these bits in here, the um, timing cover itself came up awesome. I actually gave it a little bit of a sandblast, but it was just so messy. I just stopped doing it. All right, so what do we got here? There it is. So this product here, Purge, it's a wheel cleaner works super well so it, it's a deionizer as well um, we'll give this a try on this and see what happens it's looking pretty clean um, there's still a few spots like i want to get down into here into here all those little little bits there but overall it's really clean um, the rocket cover came up even better I think I might still give it a bit of a acid wash as well just to get the rest of the, the grime off but like probably 98% of it is all gone This is looking super clean now. That's after the acid wash. Really happy with how it's come out. Even got the inside really clean. This was like caked full of oil. All right, so we've got all this primed. So this is the paint I've been using. As you can see here, it's very high temp paint. So I'm using this one on the heat shields, obviously, because that's gonna take most of the heat from the turbo and the exhaust and things like that. So we're gonna have a go at painting the sump now. All right, two coats down. It's looking really good. I'm happy how clean it just looks. It's gonna look great once it's all put back together. The best thing about this build is that I can actually do stuff like this, rebuild stuff, paint it, clean it all up you know all the new gaskets and everything will go on so it's not going to leak it's just going to be like a new car as much as it costs a lot of money i'm so glad that i've got a chance to do it like this i think i'm just going to do one more coat on this and then clear it it's not the best because of the imperfections in the in the cover itself so i've just moved this out into the sun gonna let it dry and then we're gonna do the clear coat a bit more on the sump and the heat shields and then give them a clear coat as well. The final coat is down. It's looking really good, I'm really happy. At the end of the day, it's not gonna be seen very often anyway. So, cause it is just a, you know, just a sump. Timing cover, happy with it, but it's got a lot of imperfections. Uh, 
guys, that'll probably do it for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. I uh, appreciate all of you subscribing so far. Um, it's actually amazed me how many people have subscribed to the channel. Um, I appreciate it so much and all the love that I'm getting on the videos. It's awesome. I didn't think it would go as well as it's gone. So I'm just, yeah, I'm super stoked. I didn't think I'd ever be doing YouTube, but I'm actually really loving it. The whole process, everything, I love it. Hopefully we can keep some more content coming your way. Thanks guys, peace out.